okay na ako sa extracting the square root, okay na rin yung quadratic formula, at at the same time, I already know factoring. Ano yung isang natitirang method? Completing the square daw. Paano ba mag-complete ng square? Ano ba yung mga kailangan ko? I have you now. Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Kung bago kayo sa channel na to, please do subscribe, like, share, and comment down below para sa iba't ibang mga math tutorials for grade 9 students. Bago tayo magsimula, shout out nga pala sa lahat ng grade 9 na patuloy na nanonood ng videos natin. Sana hindi kayo na stress masyado at take it very easy and lightly. Sana nakakatulong ako sa inyo. Tara! Start na tayo. So, ang magiging topic natin for today is about solving quadratic equations through the use of completing the square. Pero bago tayo magsimula, ano ba muna yung tinatawag nilang square? So, if we're going to go back with your grade 8 mathematics, when we speak of perfect square trinomials, these are expressions which are derived coming from the binomial of the form x plus a squared. Kapag in-expand natin ang ating binomial na x plus a squared, it will result to x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. So kung i-observe natin, lagi daw na ang square ng ating binomial factor will always be equal to the square of the first term plus twice the product of the first and second term plus the square of the last term. And kung meron tayong tatlong examples dito, x plus 3 squared, x minus 8 squared, at 2x minus 5 squared, ano-ano daw yung magiging expansion nila para maging perfect square trinomial. Pa-follow lang natin yung general rule natin na x plus a squared is equal to square root of the first term plus twice the product of the first and second term plus the square of the last term. We have x as the first term and the constant will be our last term. So, pare-parehas yan from three of our examples. So, unahin natin, we have x squared, squared the first term plus twice the product of the first and second term. And lastly, meron tayong add the square of the last term, which is 3 squared. To simplify our answer, then, we just need to combine the product of the middle term. Then, we should have x squared plus 2 times 3. We have 6 times x. 6x plus the square of the last term, which is 9. The perfect square trinomial will be x squared plus 6x plus 9. Try natin sa pangalawa. To square the first term plus twice the product of the first and second term plus the square of the last term. It's equal to x squared minus 16x plus 64. Lastly, we have 2x minus 5 squared. Then, it will become 2x squared, correct? Square the first term plus twice the product of the first term, which is 2x, then the last term, negative 5 plus the square of the last term, which is negative 5 squared. Getting the final answer, we should have 4x squared, correct? Then, 2 times 2x, 4x times negative 5, negative 20x, negative 5 times negative 5 is plus 25. So, there you have it. That should be the perfect square trinomial form of the binomial 2x minus 5. So after reviewing the previous concept of the square of binomials, you are now ready to face solving quadratic equations 
by completing the square. Let us try to solve the equation x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0. As we can see, x squared plus 4x minus 3 cannot be easily factorized. We need to transform the equation x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0 to the form of x plus a squared is equal to b as follows. So here are the steps in solving quadratic equation using completing the square. First is to rewrite the equation in the form of x squared plus bx equals c or in our case x squared plus 4x equals 3. Next step is to add b over 2 squared where b is the numerical coefficient of the middle term to both sides of the equation. In our case, we have here 4x as the middle term and 4 as b. Then, we add to both sides of the equation 4 over 2 squared. Observe that we have now x squared plus 4x plus 4 over 2 squared is equal to 3 plus 4 over 2 squared. Third step is to simplify and factorize the expression on the left-hand side and simplify the right-hand side. On this part of the solution, we must be able to simplify the fraction now. 4 divided by 2 is 2, then the square of 2 is 4. Or we can just say we add 2 squared to both sides of the equation. After simplifying, we will have x plus 2 squared transforming into factor form our perfect square trinomial, which is x squared plus 4x plus 4 is then transformable to x plus 2 squared, recalling the property of the square of binomial. Then on the right side, we have 3 plus 2 squared, which is 3 plus 4, which is 7. Lastly, take the square root of the both sides and simplify. Getting the square root of both sides, we will end up having x plus 2, negating the square or the power of 2 on the left-hand side, and taking the square root of 7 on the right side. So now we have x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus square root of 7. Upon adding the additive inverse of 2 to both sides, we will have x is equal to square root of 7 minus 2 and x is equal to negative square root of 7 minus 2. Alternatively, we can put the whole number part before the radical part. And we will have x is equal to negative 2 plus square root of 7 and x is equal to negative 2 minus square root of 7. Ayan. So kung mapapansin nyo, as we compare all the four methods on solving quadratic equations, this completing the square will definitely require you more technical skills for you to be able to solve completely the equation. Let's take a look on another example. Halimbawa, meron na tayo ditong x squared plus 6x minus 4 equals 0. Ano ba yung una nating step? We need to transform the equation into the form of ax squared plus bx equals c. Kailangan yung constant natin ay mailipat natin sa ating right side. Now, how do we do that? By adding the negative inverse of the constant to the both sides of the equation. So we will have x squared plus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0. Para malipat siya, we need to add the additive inverse. So ang additive inverse ng negative 4 ay positive 4 to make it 0. So plus 4 plus 4. Iniba ko ng kulay kasi sabi nga natin kanina medyo technical yung completing the square. So, para makita nyo yung mga nangyayari sa processes or sa kada steps, we will use red pen for the changes. Then, 
black pen yung sa follow through lang pagkopya natin ng expression sa previous step. Ngayon, simplify na natin. So, we will have x squared plus 6x, then 0 na siya, is equal to 4. There you have it. Nailipat na natin siya sa kabila. The next step is taking out the value of b over 2 squared doon sa ating middle term. Tapos, ia-add natin siya sa left and right hand part ng ating equations. In our case, b is equal to 6. And so we have 6 over 2, which is 3. 3 squared is 9. Then, after finding the value of b over 2 squared, we must be able to add it to our equations, both sides of the equation. Sir, bakit ganon? Ang inad mo sa left ay 3 squared, while ang inad mo sa right side ay 9. That is because we are getting the roots on the left side. Kaya better na yung b over 2 square form ang gamitin sa left, tapos yung simplified form ang gamitin natin sa right. Next step is getting the perfect roots of the trinomial. Paano yung ginagawa? Kunin mo lang yung square root ng first term plus yung square root ng b over 2 squared natin, which is 3 quantity squared. So, ang goal natin sa left side ay maging binomial ulit siya. While, on the other hand, sa ating right side, add lang natin yung dalawang numbers na na-come up natin. So, 4 plus 9 is 13. Next step is to square root both sides. Then, what is the square root of x plus 3 squared? Diba? Square and square root are inverse operations. So, manenegate ng square root ang square or yung power of 2. So, we just cancel it out. Then, we copy what's left on the left side. x plus 3 is equal to the square root of 13 plus or minus square root of 13. Ano yung final step natin? We must take the additive inverse of the constant term beside x para manegate natin siya and to further simplify the equation. So we have x plus 3, the additive inverse of plus 3 is minus 3. Ibig sabihin, magbabawas din tayo ng 3 doon sa other part or other side ng equation. We will just have x is equal to positive negative square root of 13 minus 3. Sabi natin kanina, alternatively, pwede nating isulat ang final answer na nasa unahan yung whole number part, then nasa latter part yung radical. No? Then, we can have also answer in the form of x is equal to, transform natin siya, x is equal to negative 3. Mauuna yung negative 3. Plus or minus the square root of 13. Which is the more appropriate or should I say, the more usual form na nakikita natin as answers sa calculators at saka sa mga math books. Kailangan una yung number part bago yung radical part. Ayan, so if you need to practice more, I have here three more examples. You can pause it for a while, then try solving it. Ayan, I hope nakatulong ako to clarify things with regards to completing the square, one of the four processes in solving quadratic equations. So sana na-enjoy nyo tong leg ng ating discussion at Samahan nyo pa ako sa mga susunod na MELKs na madidiscuss natin dito. So again, this is Teacher Marky saying good luck. Galingan ninyo sa pagsasagot ng inyong module. Chill lang, relax lang kayo. You don't need to be stressed. Okay? Kaya yan. Bye!